Hey everyone, this is Greg Savage from MachineMasters.com, and today I'm going to show you how to breathe a little life into your kicks, your snares, and your drum breaks. I'm going to do this by using impulse responses. An impulse response is the process of taking the acoustic characteristics of one sound bite and applying it to the other. So what I have loaded up is a drum loop from um, Boom Bat Phonetics 3 and then one of the hits that I've created for the 16s. So let me let you hear how those sound individually. Okay, now let's hear what we'll be taking the acoustic characteristics from. And what I'm only really interested in is the tail end of the sound. Now the next process is to load the sound into the RV7000. And this is very simple. You just click this button here, find the file, click and drag. Next, let's go ahead and undo the bypass and let's make sure that the drum loop is actually soloed. Because that would be a disaster. Hit play. Okay, so right now that sounds pretty horrible. So let's go ahead and adjust the dry to wet. Let's turn this down a little bit. And actually I'm going to play it and adjust so I can hear as I'm adjusting. Bypass it. Okay, so let's adjust this pre-delay a little bit and manipulate the size of the room. Okay, so I'm liking it at uh, negative five here for the size. Um, me. Okay, so I'm liking the way that sounds. Now what I'm gonna go uh, do is take the EQ and start uh, playing around with some parameters so that way I can manipulate some of the lows and uh, cut what I want, keep what I, I'm sorry, <laughs> keep what I want, cut what I don't want. So let me go ahead and play this and start tweaking and let's see what we come up with. Okay, so I'm kind of kind of liking that there. Let me go back. And let me see if there's anything here I want to change. Okay, and I kind of like that. So let's go ahead and preview the before and after. Now the reason why I like this sound is because it makes it a little duller. It makes it a little more dirty. So that's, you know, perfect for, you know, boom bap style drums. Uh, and what I'd be doing with this, and I'll probably show it in, a, in another tutorial, is taking that as same acoustic space and probably running all of my samples through it. So that way everything sounds like it's glued together. So 
that's one way that you can tweak your drums. Um, I'll definitely show how to record your own impulse responses because that's where you're going to get your best results. Anyway, like, share, subscribe. If you don't like it, let me know. If you like it, let me know. Um, and I'll see you guys next Sunday.